Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Can I Do It? And welcome back to Geometry Dash. So in this episode, we're going to be doing the first demon level, Club Step. It's insane. It's much harder than electrodynamics, but you know, I think I can pull through and do it. I've practiced enough. I've practiced probably more for Club Step than I have for electrodynamics. Yeah, probably a lot more actually. <laughs> um, but I think I'm at a point where I can do it. As you can see, I got to 87% one time, but the end part is quite tricky. So, you know, who knows if I'm going to be able to do it. Now for this challenge, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a challenge while I'm playing the level, but however many attempts it takes, I am going to divide that amount by two, and we just had a bunch of fresh snowfall here, so I'm going to go outside, take off my shirt, and jump in the snow for however many attempts divided by two, because not divided by two, you know, it's going to take me maybe like a hundred and something attempts, so that would really suck. So let's just get started. Why not? Okay, da 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 da. Oh, jeez. You know, the square part actually isn't that hard. It's just, I'm thinking of like commentary to do while I'm doing this and like having that extra layer is so insane the square parts really aren't hard they're really just all about memorizing I haven't really come to a square part that's technically too difficult yet other than just remembering what's coming up next um, because it is kind of limited but then you get to this rocket part up here as the beat drops and the beats all like yeah I'm about to shit all over your face <laughs> and you got to be pretty exact especially this part you got to go right in the middle but I'm so good at going right in the middle oh baby well actually I die there quite often still and the square part is just all about memorization and here we go cycle part the cycle parts are always easy they're about memorization too well then again Clutterfunk had some difficult parts and then there's the UFO part and this is some memorization, but you gotta have really good hand-eye coordination because that is a very tight space. And sometimes I'm not so good at fitting into tight spaces. I gotta stop saying that. Okay, here we go. So I got that. The UFO parts actually, it's not too hard once you know what to do. You just gotta like, as you come off from the saw section, you gotta have like a little bit of a delay and now it gets a little bit crazy with the upside down rocket ship and shit and you gotta be like pretty spot on with your stuff here and you gotta fit into some more tight holes <laughs> cause let's break it down this rocket ship here at the beginning is hard because you gotta fit through there and then you hold down the rocket then you let go as you're going upside down and then here fitting through the middle is actually quite tricky because you've gotta be able to have mastered keeping the rocket ship balanced by that point. If you haven't been able to master it being balanced, then you're screwed. And also, if you talk while you're playing, you might be screwed too! I wanted to look at the camera. I usually look at the camera when I make that face, but I couldn't! Ah! Okay, time for craziness. Crazy rocket ship -y. And then bounce, bounce, and then tight section, tight section. Ay! It was too tight for me! <laughs> Nose dive into the ground. You're good, Eric. You're good. How oh, did I die there? You were going down. Why didn't you keep on going down? You're such an asshole. You're such an asshole, game. If you were an asshole, I would put my finger right inside you. <laughs> Why? All you had to do was keep on going and whew, why didn't you go down? But there was so much momentum going up. I didn't think about that, now did I? Yay! Yay! <laughs> so that's like the last stretch. As soon as you get there, you gotta go do some upside down rocket shit. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You know what? I always wanted to go to space in a rocket ship. But after playing this, I don't think I'd do anymore. The next day. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. <coughs> a quick temper will make a fool of you soon enough. <coughs> Mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them. Are you finally ready for sexy time?
Holy shit. I didn't think I was going to freak out when I finally got it. I thought I was just going to, like, put my head in my hands and be like, Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. But I freaked out. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god. You know, I originally said the amount of attempts that I was going to do, I was going to, like, lie in the snow for that amount of time. But I spent, like, a hundred of these attempts in practice mode, so it doesn't count. I'm going to count 40 of these attempts towards, like, sitting in the snow. But, oh my god, I did it! I fucking did club step! Oh my god, I gotta sit down and edit the shit out of this video. I started recording it yesterday, and as you can see, it's a different day. I'm wearing different clothes. So I had to finish it the next day, because I just gave up. As you saw in the video, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm done. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to calculate how many seconds I need to go lie in the snow, and I'm going to do it. Club step is insane. Like, this... Took me a lot of practice to do. Let's see how many attempts it took. 2747. Now, the thing is, I was practicing wrong a little bit. I practiced until, like, the last 10%. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna... I'll be able to clear the last 10%, no problem, when I get there. But I kept on dying in the last 10%. And I was like, no, I'm gonna do it. And I was just, like, stubborn and wouldn't go to practice mode. So, if you want to do this level, you gotta practice each little segment, like, on its own. And just master the inputs to do it. All the other segments are pretty much just memorization, but the rocket segments, you really need to memorize, like, the motion or how much you should press it. Because when you're the tiny rocket, one little wrong movement, you're like, Wee! and you just fly off into oblivion, and it's crazy. This level, this level isn't a level of geometry dash. This level should be called rocket dash, because that's what the hard parts are. But, oh my god, I did it. I'm so happy I did it. I'm going to go eat some dinner. I'm going to edit this shit out of this video. And then I'm gonna go jump in the snow. I keep on forgetting I gotta do that. I'm like so happy, but at the same time, I'm not. Because I gotta jump in the snow for like, it's gonna be like a minute or two. Oh god. <sighs> okay guys, so what happened is outside the snow is all gone. It melted overnight, so there's nothing I can jump into. So what I have here instead is the ice left over from the ice challenge that I did putting in my pants. All I'm gonna do is lie down in my bathroom, I'm gonna put it on top of me for 60 seconds because that's how much I owe you guys. I had 40 attempts today and 80 attempts the other day. Half of that 60. Let's just get this shit on the road, okay? Oh god, this is gonna suck. Even lying down on the floor here is cold. So let's do this, go! channel i'll see you for theory of everything too that's where i'm gonna see you guys who like these challenges anyways <laughs> so i'll see you then peace